everybody. I'm Ray. And I'm Paul. And we are the Alkanauts. And today, we have a can coming all the way from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Thanks to Alan from One Flight Down. Thank you so much. We can't wait to try this baby out. Ray, give us a tale of the tape. Alrighty, so this week we've got Sukram's Curry Stout. It's from Winnipeg, Manitoba. This comes in at 7% ABV, and I'm really excited to try this one. Alrighty, as usual. I'm thirsty, so let's crack this baby open. Whoa, hold up a second. Have you read the ingredients on this one? No. You might want to. This one has water, barley, wheat, hops, and yeast, as one would expect. Yes. But it also contains curry powder, lime, coconut, and habanero. I realized in that moment. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> it's dark. Nice and dark. Like caramel coming out of a can. Dark. Roasty, toasty, malty. Not getting any habanero. I'm not getting, getting any curry. I'm not getting curry and not getting a habanero. If you want to know about the characters that should be present in a stout, jump on over and check out Beer Education on our website at thealkanauts.com. Let's try this baby out. Let's find out what's in the glass. Ray, cheers. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, all. Okay, I think I'm missing something. I'm getting a little bit of the habanero, but I'm not getting the curry. I, I get a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of the coconut. If they just told me this was their finest stout, that's a damn good stout. I'm not getting the curry. I'm yeah. not getting the habanero. I don't get the curry. I don't get the coconut. No coconut. Or lime. It tastes like a stout. You get that maltiness in there. Yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's it's a lovely, lovely, wonderful stout. I'm disappointed only in the fact that I thought there'd be more to this, but as a stout, it's really, really good. I just think it's a little uh, a false advertising. That's false advertising. No offense, but if you're gonna say it's a curry stout, it should kind of taste like a curry. Yeah. I was expecting something a little more robust, but damn good stout. It's got what a, a stout should be. Yeah. It just doesn't have what the label says it is. Fool me once, Sukrams. Shame on you. Fool me twice. That'll be a shame on me. All right, Ray. I want you to give me the rules of the chug, like you're working at a call center and you're trying to explain it to someone in customer care. Okay. Have you turned it off and back on again? It's a beer. Did you open the beer? It's open. Okay, is it in the glass? Half of it is in my belly. Okay, so then I'm going to count this down from three to one. And when Paul says go, we're going to chug these as fast as we can. I'm just going to tell you, Paul is my favorite. Damn! Three, two, one, go. What is your final thought on this beer? I got to call a spade a spade. I don't taste the curry. I don't taste the coconut. It's not a curry stout. It's a stout. Would I buy a six pack of this? I'm gonna say I'm not. I'm probably gonna buy maybe a can just to show people we have a curry stout and put it on my shelf. And that's about it, I'm sorry. Yeah, as a stout, it's lovely, it's wonderful. It does everything that a stout should be. I do get some of the coconut and probably because I don't like coconut. But yeah, I really, really, really wished that this was gonna smack me with curry flavor, smack me in the face with a little bit of heat, you call that a slip? It's a it's a single can for me as well. If we're way off, put some comments down below. We're we're not perfect, but we try. <laughs> and thanks one more time to Alan from One Flight Down for sending this over to us from Winnipeg. And with that being said, I'm Paul. And I'm Ray. And we are the Alkanauts. Cheers all. Take care. <laughs>